Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Man, what a beautiful audience and what a great show we have ahead of ourselves. Uh, I am Paul Unger, your host, and we are going featuring a new show for you. The artistic sights and the original musical sounds of the Hampton Roads area. Now, some of you might be asking yourself the question, why only 30 minutes? You know, there's just so much that this Tidewater area has to offer, of course, artistically, musically, whatnot. And let me tell you something. Why only 30 minutes? Because the uh, one hour would be too much for the man to handle. I plan on taking it as far as the sensors allow me to, baby. But anyway, uh, enough of my yapping. Let's get it going. Hey, get on board, everybody. JJ, roll it. Everybody, the Tidewater Music Express. How about this stage setup, huh? I'm telling you, we sparkle like a throbbing star, whatever have you, next to the gong show. We're doing pretty well here. Hey, how are you guys doing? Well, we've got some a lot of great major entertainment ahead of us for you. And uh, mo this episode will consist mostly of uh, live music. We do have James Wagner from The Pain in the Ass coming by. Uh, the studio for an interview that'll come up later in the episode. I can't wait to look. Very interesting guy. Love him. He's, he's a great guy. And, um, and then we'll, uh, live uh, shows that uh, live performances of several bands doing original music. And oh, by the way, that reminds me of a joke. Why didn't anybody show up to the last DeLorean's gig? Because no one could afford the cover. <laughs> Oh, God, it's a joke, you bastards. Anyway, uh, uh, coming up, we, uh, oh, why don't we present the, the, first, uh, the first music video. Mm. Uh, you gotta love it. The, the lovely Tiffany Riley and the Death Valley Rally, gotta love them, live at the Tap House. Roll it, JJ.
she's so flippin' dead You be fly, you be dead, you be dead I can't sound so sound to she Who she sees Hey, my name up on that place and it sees I'm trying to pause at that shot on that shore There's a dead place on the bottom of the road Hey, man song we ever done live uh, we hope you liked it and we didn't scare you too much we're not a really we're not a heavy metal band but we try to be we're back how you doing the janks ladies and gentlemen yes yes that was great and guess who i ronnie and the guys and guess who i have here in the studio our first guest james wagner Hi. Of the pain in the ass. How you doing, man? I'm doing. I'm doing decent. All right. Well, I'm excited. Hey, listen. Where are you guys from? Chesapeake. Well, I'm from Suffolk, Virginia, but the, Suffolk. The band is kind of based in Norfolk. We're a Norfolk band. All right. Wow. Uh, wonderful, pleasant Suffolk. That's cool. I, I, I tell me something. I, w I looked at your Facebook page and it said uh, melodic, beautiful. No, it didn't say melodic. It said Rock and roll synth sounds, something, something. Can you explain to me not just what that means, but I mean, do you you all do all your instruments and? I write the ma the vast majority of the music in the band. Most of it just gets it's me in a bedroom, drum machine, synthesizer, a couple instruments, and then, you know, I I have my very faithful live band that contributes whenever, whenever they can, and they're. Gen they're genuinely better at those instruments than I am, but uh, the fleshed out songs are mine, and all of the uh, all of the extra ingredients in there is uh, yeah the talents of the people I work with. Absolutely. Well, hey man, I, I love that kind of creative control. You know, uh, we could all we could all use that, especially when it comes to um, uh, making our own music and whatnot. But anyway, you know, I was listening, to you guys. James, I love the band with Jay Retard and, and uh, Lost Sounds from like 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. You remind me a little. Is there a lot? Do you like that? Oh, I'm a big Jay fan. Love the Lost Sounds. If it wasn't for them, I'm not sure if I would have found a lot of bands I like, like the Screamers, and maybe I wouldn't have 
felt like I had a green light to mix synthesizer with punk rock and whatnot. So yeah, l love them. Good old punk rock freedom kind of thing. Oh I yeah, guess. yeah, it gives you the DIY ethic for sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, you know, this comes to my really my well, we we have a video coming up. Uh, JJ, we got a video. Yeah, we got a video you made. Uh, what's going on with this? I, I, uh, yeah, um, actually, my videographer, his name is uh, A.P. Britton. He works for, uh, or he owns and operates Power of Three Productions. Great guy. Uh, we actually shot a music video in the back of the salon I work in. And uh, my employer was very gracious enough to let us do that. And, uh, yeah, we shot it in one day. One very long day. I'll tell you. Well, and we got to finish. Yeah. Are you like a? Are you a hairdresser? I am. That's my uh, my day job, if you will. Oh, well, I ought to come by sometime. My hair gets long enough that I start to look like bozo. <laughs> it's got a, a freaking diamond here and a bald diamond. Uh, listen, um, let's get right down to it, okay? Sex and pain and art. That's what you're about, isn't it, James? Mostly pain with a side of art. <laughs> I love it. Break out the gimp, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this party started. Uh, James, thanks so much for coming here. JJ, we're going to roll that video in a few seconds. James, thanks so much for coming by. Thanks for, for having Tidewater me. Water Music. Thank you so Plus. much. It's Absolutely. A thanks so much. For, it's great to see you. Hey, pleasure. roll that pain in the eyes video, JJ. You look good in your second day makeup You look good with dirty hair You look good in an old t-shirt You even look good when you're not there You play Bowie on the way home You got pet sounds on LP You got everything, just figured out everything that is Except for me
with that on that Cupid's bat. That's my money maker. Yes. <laughs> Everybody knows what's up. I know what's up. Like I'm about to kill my shit. Hey, JJ, can we look into getting a new desk? This one's all rickety and loose. Reminds me of this girl I dated recently in Ocean View that had a... Oh, yeah, thanks, JJ. I appreciate it. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, how you doing? Well, thanks for uh, turning the channel on us and keeping it on us, for that matter. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yes. Uh, if you're like me... Uh, and I'm in my 40s. Sometimes you like to re look back at the yesteryear of your youth. I just want my youth back, please. Well, I can't actually get into a time machine or anything like that, but uh, I can do, let's do the time warp again with a little installment that we call, that the Tidewater Music Express calls the Express Archive. They're sort of like those MTV music, um, those closet classic videos that they used to show back in the 80s. What shall it be? The Hide House, 2009, Creeps at Night. Roll it, baby. If anyone knows or sees that any bizarre behavior such, to contact the authorities. <laughs> That was scary. I'm telling you, that was major entertainment and horror movies mixed together. The Hideout, ladies and gentlemen, Creeps at Night, 2009. That was a, well, 10 years ago. Uh, you know, and it was, it was so scary and horrifying that, JJ, where are my pants? I'm in my boxers, for God's sake. What happened to my pants? Are you telling me that that video was so horrifying that it scared the pants right off of me? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm a really happy camper right now. I'm sorry, folks. This is very embarrassing. Anyway, this next band that we're going to show live at the bunker back in, I think, early last September or October, uh, Dead Aim. They've been around since 1985 in the Virginia Beach and Norfolk area, and their main uh, guitarist songwriter and singer, uh, Mark Bishop, him and the guys tell us the rules of the game. When you go on that stage, you give everything you've got. And uh, I'll tell you something. Um, I literally, when I was recording them, I, I, felt, I almost felt like my face blew off into chunks because these guys, their music was so powerful. <laughs>
that's what I call intensity. Well, you dead aim live at the bunker. You don't get any better than that. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and keeping up with us to this point. I'm really grateful. If you are, that is. And uh, basically, thanks for James Wagner coming by the studio here. And um, pretty much everything happened, all the bands that contributed, and, and we all had a great time and whatnot. But first, before we go, as we roll the credits, here's a little, uh, little installment by the uh, Tidewater Music Express we call, I Can't Appreciate This. It's crap! <laughs> anyway, you guys have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you later. I'll see you next episode, right? Paul signing off. Take care now. Bye. What? Trick or treat? Oh, it is Halloween, isn't it? All right, one second. Oh, look at your cute bag. Here, head for the mountain. What is wrong with you, you jerk? Apparently I do. Now get off my porch, squirt, beat it. <laughs>